is Friday and would you like to oh hello son scary uh it is Friday we are on the road we are on the road to Disney Springs Disney Springs there's Eric he's still driving uh yeah I don't know if I have much else to say than I am beyond happy right now and I'm beyond excited and I cannot stop singing but I don't sing well so I'm not going to sing to you because I appreciate you and I appreciate you watching so I gotta go back to Elsa and we need to let some things go get it all out <laughs> he loves me <laughs> We are in the Kissimmee area and over here is Universal Studios and you could see their new, um, coming up, you're going to be able to see their volcano, I'll just show you right there. This is, I think it's their new water park or whatever, right Eric? Yeah, so this is Universal over here and there's some water slides. Oh yeah, there's some water slides, kind of looks like. A water park I don't know I'm not a huge water park person but pretty cool so you hit if you're coming our way which is like from Tallahassee you hit Universal first Woohoo! we're exiting look at it says Epcot Disney Springs we're going to Disney Springs woo -hoo, woo -hoo. yay 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 we made it to Disney Springs. He is so happy to be out of the car. We parked at the orange parking lot by Splitsville. And we have to go to the bathroom. So that's our first stop. Woohoo! There's a hot air balloon behind me and a boat ferry going on right outside the bathrooms. I mean, can it get more magical than that? This is Disney people. We're going to go here for lunch. It's the Guy Fieri Chicken Restaurant. For questionable things, but we're going to try for ourselves and see if it's really, really good or terrible and hungry from the road. So we're going to eat a lot. Yeah, we've tried Guy Fieri recommended restaurants before, so hopefully this. Plus, this guy is the sauce king. That's right. <laughs> All right. All right, we are at Chicken Guy. Okay. Here is our food. Here is my great husband, and he is going to taste some sauces for you. Oh. All right, the what's- barbecue one tastes like his barbecue sauce that you can like buy in the stores. Oh, you can buy Guy Fieri sauces in the store? Okay. And so is it like a sweet one, or is it tangy? Yeah, it's sweet. Eric loves sweet. So this is Like okay, nothing special. Uh, ranch. Well, That's good. Yeah. All right, here you want to film me trying the rest. Ooh, it's a little spicy. The Chipotle Ranch. Yeah. Okay, so first I'm going to try Chipotle Ranch because I like spicy. <clears throat> Whoa. That is an Amy sauce. Okay, this is donkey sauce. I feel like that would go really good on a burger, to be honest. And this is Nashville hot honey. Whoa. Nashville hot honey. That's going to go great on chicken. Okay, what's the last and one? And then the last one is garlic parmesan. Oh. Ooh, I'm liking that honey one. Mild. All right, we'll talk to you after. Right. All right, we finished our meal, and honestly, it's gotten so so reviews on in a lot of places that I looked at, and I really liked it. I feel like the breading is kind of like shake and bake, but it has a little bit more flavor. The fries, solid, had good seasoning on it. Um, we got a ton of sauces. My favorite was the Nashville hot honey. If you like something like, it was definitely sweet and spicy, like hot spicy, but I, I thought it was really good. Um, 
and I would come back. I am, right now it's January and I'm sitting in the sun and I am loving it. I could spend some time here. Um, I think, I would say the only drawback is, is that it is more expensive than you would think it is because just things, they're all like a la carte items and then the chicken fingers only come with two sauces and if you saw on our Instagram that going in in life, like I showed you how many sauces we used and we used multiple of them and each sauce cost 50 cents and you really need the sauce for those because the chickens are good but I like the sauces. So that's what I thought. Let's go to Eric. Hello. <laughs> I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. It filled my belly. French fries have good seasoning too. The chicken was good. The sauces were good. Um, just, when they say they're spicy, they don't joke. They're pretty spicy. So if you're like weird about spicy stuff, don't get the spicy sauces. But the non-spicy ones were good. The barbecue sauce and the cheese and the uh, Parmesan and garlic one was really good too. A little blue cheesy, but watch. Great, we hear dogs. Okay, so behind me is a store called Uniqlo. I heard about it from Jessica Braun, Jam Beauty 82. No, 80 something, 89. Anyway, so she's on YouTube, she says beauty, but she also loves Disney, and she says that that's a great place to get affordable, like Disney license thing. So, hey, shopping. lots of good things but I'm trying to be a little bit more particular about my Disney things because I have so much so it like so it has to be something I really 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 love to get it so he's proud of me right yeah, yeah I said do you want this because it's our first store that we've gone to or because you have money burning a hole in your pocket so I think that that got her that got her good yeah a lot to the My Disney Experience. If you look at my packing video, you know I print out our plans and this is why, because I cannot, it's just having a hard time today. So I would recommend print out your plans and reservations. So just in case it's having problems. We are going into the Coke store for the first time. And if you know anything about me, I love soda. I used to drink Coca-Cola like regular all the time, but then I got really worried about getting diabetes. So three years ago, I switched to Diet Coke, which I know still isn't healthy, but it is my happy medicine, that is for sure. So, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. And why are we excited about this place? Oh, because we're trying different sodas. Well, and we were supposed to go to Atlanta, oh, yeah, we go were to the Coke place. Yes, on this vacation, I really wanted to go to Atlanta to go to that big like Coke factory place. Uh, but Atlanta, 
but we were supposed to go on the Super Bowl, and that's where the Super Bowl is playing, so we couldn't go to Atlanta because hotels were like $800, yep. so not doing it. Let's go to the Coke store. Okay, we're in the Coke store now, and they have a Coca-Cola bear experience. So let's see what this is. First of all, quite possibly one of my worst nightmares. I'm not going to step. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm walking on water. A miracle is happening. Oh my goodness. Fun, fun, fun. Hi. Sorry. Oh, hi. Hi, can you? Yeah. Hi, I'm so happy that you have a glass of soda. Or just drink it. Yeah, he just drinks it. It's his favorite beverage. Oh, goodness. Alright, now get nice and close to there. Look right here, got a big smile. Okay. That was amazing. He's so tall. <laughs> he is really tall. Alright, my eyes feel weird now. Did you get some pictures? I got a couple. Man, I want some with a camera, but it's okay, I'll wait. <laughs> really nice view. We're on the second level walking towards the lounge. We are on, but we just exited. This is what the rooftop bar looks like. How fun. Well, all right, Eric, what are we doing? What do we get? Uh, well, we got the international flight, which is $9. We do get an annual pass discount. And then $9, you get 16 little baby flavors. baby flavors. Do we want to go buy them one by one or just give our overall thoughts at the end? At the end, I think might be good. Okay. We will see you at the end. Look at how funny and cute he is. He has to have a straw if he can have a straw. All right, so we tried it and one thing you might not know about me is I fiercely love my Diet Coke and it used to be my regular Coke. And every once in a while, I will eat diet, drink Diet Dr. Pepper, and every once in a while, I will also have, um, what is it called? Root beer. But honestly, I drink water. If on special occasions, I will drink juice, like for Christmas, or if I'm not feeling very well. And then the rest of the time, it's water and Diet Coke. Basically, I'm, I don't have, so this was rough for me. I did not expect it. Um, Honestly, does anybody remember the childhood medicine called Dimetap? I actually really like the taste, and one of these tastes like Dimetap. It is the Honduras one. What is Delaware it? Punch. It's called Delaware Punch from Honduras. Tastes like childhood medicine that I actually enjoyed, which I know sounds weird, but if you ever, if you know about Dimetap, let me know that I'm not alone and insane. So, Eric, what do you think? Uh, this one, yeah, what right is here. it? Beverly? It's Beverly. I'm going to flip you. From Italy. Beverly from Italy. Oh yeah, you get this great card to tell you yeah. what it is. So this one? Yeah, it's you... the most bitter thing I've ever, and I've like, I've had bitter things before. It was pretty bad. But you could also get it at uh, Epcot, right? Yeah. And I'm they're tasting silly. things. So Eric liked more. What are some of the ones that you like? This, okay. What were some of the ones that you thought were good? He has a more refined soda palette. So this is just, just fans of Fruit Punch. <laughs> no, no uh, country? It's from Uganda. Uganda. Okay. This one. I don't know what this tastes like. Where, what's it called? Where is it from? It's the Bon Bon Inglés from Madagascar. Okay. Not so good. This one's like unsweetened honey tea. What was that first one on your on your list that you oh, skipped? Stony something or other from Tanzania. Okay. This one is that one was pretty good. Yeah, that one was pretty good. 
Um, smart watermelon from China. It's good. Thumbs up from India. Not in Hanka. Not so good. Then on my tray, we have Beverly. Disgusting. Spain. What is that? Aquarius Libre. Okay, that one's fine. Uh, Fuse Berries Tea. Fine. This tastes like Snapple. Yeah. That one was. The black currant one? Yeah. This one was actually really good too. This one was. What is that? Five? From Chile. It was just okay. I, it didn't have a strong flavor. This is Bjor Lingenberry from Sweden. Not so good. Uh, if it had more sugar, I think I would like it. it it's kind of like the IKEA drink, but on Sweden. Inca Cola from Peru tastes just like. like a, it's like cream soda in you. Okay. Yeah, which is weird considering the color. And then yeah. Dimetap. Dime <laughs> Not really. Yeah, I don't know how much I could drink, so Eric is going to have an interesting experience in his stomach. Oh, oh yeah, you are. I can't do this. <laughs> no way. This is fun though. Would you recommend people do this? Yeah. How much? And I think we said it was $9. $9. It came with a free shot glass. Oh, it did. Let's show them that. Just Here. Says it just says Coca-Cola Orlando on it. Hey. Okay, so that's uh, free. For $9, $9, you get a little shot glass, which I have no idea what we will use that for. $3. All right, so this is basically $6. Worth it for the experience, right? Yeah. All right, we're going to try to suck this down now. All right, the experimenting is not over. We, Eric right now is creating a, it's called a suicide, right? I'm not crazy. All right, so you know when you're kids and you like uh, pour all the different sodas into one cup and your parents are like, don't do that, it's not good, or whatever. And so that's what Eric's doing with this one. Do a barely minimum of that. <laughs> And we're going to see what it tastes like. Oh, people. I hope we're not the only weirdos that like to do things like this. But. Alright. Alright, he's so brave. <laughs> do it, do it. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Fancy Pants needs to stir it with a straw. Bottoms up. <laughs> What does it taste like? Well, he's going in for a second, so it can't be that nasty. It's not that bad, actually. What does it taste like? Everything. <laughs> All right, here, let's flip it. Okay. Oh. It's like good and terrible at the same time. I definitely get a lot of like the tea flavor. Like I get tea and honey from whatever that. There's one that was like green tea and honey. And I think it might be a majority of that, maybe. I think I think I taste mostly that, but pretty color. <laughs> so the joy apple, apple kiwi, and smart watermelon all mixed together make a really good one. <laughs> We're, we're being, this is really fun. We're being like mad scientists. Well, he's being the mad scientist and I'm the encourager right now. Okay, we are done with Disney Springs for the moment because we have got to go to the character warehouse and then go see about our townhouse. Hey, so uh, I wanted to give you a little bit more information about the character warehouse I said. So I think it's about two miles, I, uh, I believe 2.2 miles from Disney Springs. There is uh, the Orlando Premium Outlet. And specifically they have a store called the Disney Character Warehouse. And this is a store where, um, and it's off Vineland Street. There's two and we went to both of them last time, but the Vineland one is better in my opinion um and so what it is is it's basically like disney's outlet store so sometimes you can find like really good deals about things that are that have like okay. just recently got into out of the park or sometimes there are things that are like still in the park what were you going to say i was gonna say yeah it's most of the time when you go to uh, like back in the day an outlet store was actually like a cheap place it's to get merchandise yeah. 
but this this character warehouses it's sometimes there's stuff in the parks and it's like it's like half off or more yeah like i we found a, there's a bunch of cookbooks i remember last year that people like i remember mugs. thinking yeah mugs and cookbooks and stuff like that like after we saw them here we were in the parks i was like this is at the character warehouse yeah there's a spot right ahead yeah right. and so that's why before we really went like serious shopping or before we were like really going into the parks we wanted to make sure that we that we started here just so we could kind any way to save money right yep. so that's what we're going to do and i am so excited okay so it's called the orlando premium outlets and it just looks like a big outlet mall because that's what it is all right this is what it looks like so woohoo Okay, so we're in the car back from the character warehouse store um to be honest uh it was really busy right? i don't think i've ever seen it that busy before. yeah it was it's you word has leaked out probably yeah um yeah word has leaked out it is a friday but it's a friday it's three o'clock right now so we were there before three o'clock I don't know it was just super busy so I'm sorry that we couldn't really film to show you inside um, much but we probably will go back next week before we leave they kind of change stuff out regularly because they get things in all the time and, and you'll and it's from you'll see stuff from Disneyland too it's, yeah it's, and the Disney cruise like you'll it's see all the, it's all the stuff it's all Disney that comes here and honestly the we talked to the cast member there and they said that the turnover of new items just depends on what sells out so they wait till something sells out and then they replace it with something so she's like who knows because we asked her like if we come back in a week she was like there could be two new items or there could be a thousand new items like it's impossible for them to yeah know. it's really funny there's a couple of things that were there that I remember when we were here like a year and a half ago. Oh really? They're, uh, clearly they're having trouble selling it. It's what like was it? solo merchandise from oh. the Star Wars movie. <laughs> solo was this year. Anyways, um. Well, I mean like, not not like the merchandise from the movie, Han Solo stuff, sorry. It oh. It was like a Han Solo vest. Oh, I, I see what you mean. They still had a bunch of those from last yeah. time we were here. Yeah, so it is really interesting also because as far as sizes goes, like last time we were here, we both bought stuff and we found things in our sizes, at least like a handful of things. Yeah. I think I found a lot of things last time, to be honest. But this this time there was nothing in either of our sizes available. So it's really like, it's just a hit or miss, you know? It is. And there's, I mean, there's... There's a lot of other stuff that if you're into like collecting the different things you can get like plates and gold. there's so many mugs. Oh, there's... I mean, there's stuff. It is worth going to and spending the money because you can get that stuff cheaper. I got two hats for $5 each Each that yeah. probably were 15 to 20 in the parks. So. I got sunglasses that I was considering buying at Disneyland a couple weeks ago and they had them here for $5. I was like, okay, decision made. There's all sorts of fun stuff here to get. Yeah, we got some. We got some things, but we'll show you. We'll show you in a separate video all the things that we've met because this video is getting long. So now we're going to our townhouse rental, and we will also have a separate video showing you the walkthrough of it. Yep. And this guy's tired, so we're going to relax for a little Rest bit. Rest before we go back for more to Disney adventure. Springs. Yeah. Well, yeah. We'll probably see you in Disney Springs next. Okay. Hi, we are going out to Disney Springs now, back out for dinner, and I'm like, hey, I brought one nice-ish dress so I wanted to show you. This is actually from Tori, and it is a Minnie Mouse dress. Can you see? Minnie Mouse. So I will do a spin and pretend like I'm five. Did I look five? Because I felt five. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going out to dinner now. All right. Also, I wanted to show you guys from where we are to Disney Springs in traffic. Focus. It says 16 minutes. So that's not bad. I'm going to time it and see if that is accurate so we know exactly how inconvenient or convenient this townhouse is. All right, here we are. We are getting... We are on our way to Disney Springs and look at this. This time we get to see the Walt Disney World where dreams come true sign. Does this look updated at all or am I crazy? It, it looks nice. 
Woohoo! Look at the balloon is going up. So cool. One day I might go and do that. All right, we made it into the parking garage and it took us 15 minutes and 12 seconds and now we just have to find parking. Cool. We are at homecoming and we are on the outside porch which has heaters. We are definitely, well I am definitely getting this because it is amazing and I love it. And uh, it's a busy Friday night, the outside heaters or the outside screen porch looks like this. Colt had a zero minute wait and then uh, the inside would have been 45 minutes so score. All right, we substituted fries. Eric got a bonus chicken strip. We substituted fries for the chips because the chips aren't our favorite. And then this is what it looks like. So good. How is it? Eric is really happy right now. I am too. Also, one of our favorite parts Dessert. I got the hummingbird cake, which comes with ice cream and some raspberry gastric. And Eric, what is yours? Chocolate. Okay, just chocolate cake. He wants to eat it, so I'll leave it. I'll leave it to it. But this is amazing. The best dessert I've ever had on a Disney property. We just finished our meal at homecoming, which was super. Oh, look it. Lipstick right there. Oh, you do. That's really funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was amazing. It's it is a pricey meal, like for the two of us. Yeah, I don't remember don't, it being that expensive last time, but yeah, it probably was pretty was. high on uh, pain. Uh, cold medicine. Cold medicine. We were cold very medicine. sick last time. It was on a lot of Musinex last time we were here. So yeah, so we got. Um, the, and you saw what we got, we showed you. It was super good, the food is really good, the dessert is amazing, it's big enough to bring home to eat for later, which we totally did, we yeah. ate half of it. And then, yeah. Oh, Eric's gonna hold it now. So. I have longer arms than she does. Yeah. Be out here, yeah. close in right, right there. Oh, or we could all see about my lipstick on my... Oh yeah. Oh, see? I'm embarrassing to be around. <laughs> well, now we're gonna just wander around and look at stuff. Yeah, we don't really know what we're going to do, so we'll see. Okay, there's our first glimpse of the Epcot ball. Sitting on the tee, ready for somebody to hit.